guys, so today I am going to do a highlighting and contouring video for you guys. I was really kind of iffy about making this because everybody and their dog has like highlighting and contouring videos on YouTube, but I guess that means that I have to have one too, right? And a lot of you guys have been asking me for one, so here you go. Merry late Christmas. So today I'm mostly going to be using the NYX Wonder Stick. I just picked up this guy at Ulta and I am already just so impressed by it. You guys will hear me talk about it later in the video, but if you guys are trying out highlighting and contouring, definitely pick this up. I know they sell it at Target now. They sell it at Ulta and I think it is $11.99. So not terrible for the price and you do get two different colors, the contour and the highlight, which you guys again will see in the video, but I love it so much I just want to talk about it again. So anyways, let me know if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You can message me on Facebook or comment on Instagram and I will answer and I will answer them as soon as possible. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Alright. Alright. So since with highlighting and contouring you want a flawless skin look, I'm just going to first counteract some red areas of my skin with a little of my NYX HD concealer, the green kind to counteract the red. Alright, and now that we look thoroughly crazy, I'm just going to apply a little of my favorite foundation. I'm going to use my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation. This stuff is easily my favorite drugstore foundation. I used to love the uh, Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse stuff. This was the stuff that I used literally all through high school, but this stuff is amazing. If you guys get a chance, definitely try it out. It lasts all day, the coverage is great, and it's only like 12 bucks. Alright, so that is just one layer, so now I'm just going to go back with a little bit more and just kind of touch up some problem areas and just make sure it is a full, even coverage. Alright. So once I'm done with just applying my foundation, I'm just going to go in with basically my normal routine, just making my skin look flawless, and I'm just going to hide my under eye circles. I'm going to use my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, and mine is in Chantilly. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Every time I see that, I just want it like Chantilly, Scantily, Scantily clad. I don't know. I just think it's funny. So I'm just going to go underneath my eyes, kind of up onto my cheekbones, but I'm just going to blend it up with my brush. And then I'm also going to use my concealer to highlight the high points of my face. So down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, Cupid's bow, chin. Just anything that is a high point of your face. That's all pretty much highlighting and contouring is, is accentuating the high points and defining the shaded areas of your face. So if you're drawing your face, if any of you guys are artists out there, just think of it as like shading a box, you know? You put highlights and you put shading. I don't know. And then I'm just blending this out with my Sigma F86 brush. So once that is all done, I'm just going to set everything down. So for my under eyes, since I really want to brighten it, since it is a highlighting and contouring look, I'm just going to set it with a little bit of my Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. This stuff is super, super brightening, so it'll be great for contouring and highlighting because it's brightening, so highlighting. And I'm just going to use my little e.l.f. blush brush. It's like that guy. And this stuff is very yellow tinted, so it really helps to brighten and hide those like bluish under eye circles. If any of you guys are struggling with those dark under eye circles, definitely check this stuff out. It's only like 18, which seems like a lot, but I mean, you get a decent amount. You aren't going to use it. I mean, you're not going to use it that much, so it'll last you a long time. And compared to other things, it actually is pretty inexpensive when it comes to high-end makeup. So then I'm just going to set the rest of my face with a little of my NYX Set It and Don't Fret It finishing powder. This stuff is my absolute favorite setting powder in the entire world. It is amazing. And I'm just going to set it with my e.l.f. Kabuki brush. Alright, so as I said, this part is just kind of making your skin look flawless. You can do whatever your normal routine is. That is just my normal routine. Because that doesn't really have anything to do with the actual highlighting and contouring. It's just 
providing a base for the highlight and contour. So then for highlighting and contouring, I just picked up this NYX Wonder Stick, and I did a highlighting and contouring video yesterday, but I didn't really like how it turned out, and I just pick this up so I was like hmm might as well do one with this it has this like double end so like one ends a highlight one ends a contour and when I first saw this I was kind of like eh but then I swatched it and it swatches really pretty this contour color is like a perfect cool toned contour color so I'm really really excited to try it out so first starting off with contouring I start with my cheeks and you just want to contour the hollows of your cheeks to really accentuate your cheekbones and make your face have some definition so I'm just gonna follow my natural cheekbone line so start right above kind of at the top of my ear and I'm just gonna kind of draw a line And since this is a cream stick, I'm going to go ahead and blend it out immediately just so it doesn't dry out and make it hard to blend out. So I'm just going to take my e.l.f. small stipple, stipple brush and I'm going to spray it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Just since this is a cream, I want it to blend out really nicely and I find wetting the brush makes it blend out just amazingly. And then I'm just going to go back with my foundation brush and just kind of clean it up a little bit. I'm just going to focus underneath that contour line. And you want it to kind of end where your like smile line starts. So you don't want the contour, I look crazy, and you don't want the contour, you know what I mean. You don't want the contour to go farther than that because I mean unless you want to look like this the whole day, it kind of looks weird. So you just kind of want to stop it where your actual cheeks stop. So then, next part I'm going to contour is just kind of around my face to make my face look slimmer. So I'm just going to kind of do one of these guys, just to make my forehead slimmer. And then I'm also going to focus in my temples as well. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my little stippling brush. I can't get over this contour color. It is a great contour color. and. They do have three different shades of these, so they have a light, a medium, and a dark. I got the light, obviously, because I'm pretty stinking pale, and I'm actually really, really impressed by this. It blends out pretty nicely. I didn't actually have to wet my brush that much at all. I don't know. Definitely pick it up, guys, if you want something to contour with. This is great already. And then I'm just going to contour my nose just the slightest bit, so I'm just going to kind of draw a little triangle on the side of my nose just to give it a little bit more definition. And I'm also going to bring it up into like where my eye starts. So cream contouring done. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cream highlight using the other side of the wonder stick. So I'm just going to place place little lines on top of my cheekbones. I'm just kind of swiping it like that. And I'm starting about in the middle of my cheek and going up. Then I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. A little bit around my nose too. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with my finger just to get a really precise blend. You guys, I'm actually really impressed by this stuff. I really like how it's turning out. The tones in the stick are like perfect. Like this white isn't like too white on me, but it definitely gives me a really, really strong highlight and contour. Which I mean, if you're gonna highlight and contour, it might as well be a strong one. All right, so now I'm just going to set all this down with powder. So you guys can totally skip the cream contour step, but I figured if I'm going to do a cream or a contouring video, might as well show you every option. That way you guys can kind of pick through and choose what you want to do. So now I'm just going to take my matte bronzer. This one is Sephora, like the Sephora brand, and it's in, whoo, it's in number three, Los Cabos. You definitely want to pick a matte bronzer just because you're shadowing your face when you're contouring and shadows aren't normally sparkly. So I'm just placing that everywhere 
where we put the cream contour. And then for my highlight on top of the cream highlight, I'm going to use my NYX Illuminator in Ritualistic. This thing is amazing. I love it so freaking much. And I'm just going to use the same e.l.f. blush brush that we used for um, the under eye powder. So I'm just going to pat, pat that everywhere over where we put that cream highlight. And I'm just taking my Kabuki brush and just kind of tapping it around, just kind of blending the colors together just so it's not crazy harsh. Alright, now I'm just going to finish off with some blush to give myself some color because all I have is like gray, brown, and white on my face. So I'm just going to take this NARS blush in Sin. I'm obsessed with it. This is my first ever like super expensive blush purchase and I honestly do not regret it whatsoever. It's gorgeous. So I'm just going to dust that on top of my cheekbones, just kind of in between the bronzer or the um, contour and the highlight. It kind of helps blend it together too. And I'm just going to put a little up towards my forehead just to kind of even it out and give my skin a radiant kind of glow. Alright guys, and this is the finished highlight and contour look. Obviously you would, you know, finish your makeup, which I'm going to do right here in a second, but I just wanted to show you guys the finished face look. I really, really am impressed by this wonder stick, you guys. You should definitely pick it up if you're trying or if you're just trying contouring for the first time, or if you can't find that certain product that you want to use to try to contour. I highly recommend it. It's, I think it was $11.99 at Ulta, but they do always have coupons at Ulta, so just ask them for a coupon, check your email, whatever, look up Ulta coupon. And you can get it for like under 10 bucks. And like I said, there's multiple different colors. And I'm super, super impressed. So I think it highlighted and contoured perfectly. I hope you guys liked it. So that is all that I have for you guys today. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, guys, I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.